My name is Richard Harvey. I'm an ENT surgeon or otolaryngologist by training, but I only look after disorders of the nose and sinus, and that makes me a rhinologist. I look after patients who have both inflammatory and infective conditions of the nose and sinus, but I also look after tumours and cancers in the area, and I also do nasal reconstruction and complex rhinoplasty work. Having this background makes me part surgeon and also part immunologist of the upper airway. Watery eyes for most people is a drainage problem from the tears, from the tear duct system. It it's often comes about because of scarring within the tear duct system. We, we know that this, for most people, happens later on in life. We think it's related to cosmetics and that's why it affects women more than men. But for most people, it's simply just scarring within the tear duct system. There are other causes that can block the, the tear duct system, but these are uncommon. For many people who develop a watery eye, it's often happening to some degree on both sides. And, and so for most people who develop it over time in their lifetime, they'll have one side affected and then eventually the other side often becomes affected as well. When it only affects one side, it's often a sign that another process other than simple scarring might be at play. If someone comes and sees us with tearing from their eye and we believe it's a blockage phenomenon, there's a simple dye test that we perform here as part of a consultation where a small amount of fluorescein dye is placed in the eye and whether or not it transitions from the eye into the nose um, is, helps us assess whether or not someone's got a blocked tear duct. If someone has a blocked tear duct system, these procedures now can be performed endoscopically through the nose. Traditionally, they were performed through operations through the facial skin with a small incision on the face but for the majority of patients now, these can all be done with little endoscopic cameras through the nose. It's done as a day procedure in a hospital under a short anaesthetic and really results in a very high resolution of blockage and restoration of tear drainage.